Thing. And the start is critical with this field size. Nine Gale, Wendy on the table. Wendy on the table has been first to clear for the lead. Nine Gale is still coming. I'm for real getting away in third. There's QLS leaving in fourth. And back to the early trailer who is Windsor Darlin. Wendy on the table on the inside. Nine Gale up on the outside. I'm for real will not contend in the three hole. And making a big early move for Brett Robinson. I'm for real is up on the attack on Nine Gale. 27 and one, they slugged out the quarter. There goes I'm for real overtaking Nyan Gale into the backstretch. Wendy on the table sits back in third and Qless saw all of that unfold from fourth. Windsor Darlin is closed up in fifth. Three eighths of the mile is complete already. Three leadership changes. I'm for real is up top. Nyan Gale a nose to helmet second, biding her time a little bit. Wendy on the table stayed in third. Qless fourth. Windsor Darlin had to be taken up and then uh, made a break from fifth and is gapping from the field. Windsor Darlin has dug her herself a big hole after the half of 56 and 2. I'm for real Nyan Gale. Wendy on the table sitting in from third. Kulis now tipping up from fourth. There goes Kulis inside the final three eighths and Windsor Darlin is back down pacing and trailing. I'm for real the leader of length. She got ahead of Nyan Gale here. On the outside comes Kulis and Nyan Gale tips out of the pocket. Wendy on the table saving ground along the inside. Oh these top four are very tightly grouped any one of the four of them could win it 125 and two three quarter time i'm for real nine gale back out for the drive and Culis is seeing clear track wendy on the table is blocked on the pylons and i'm for real hanging on and putting away nine gale here comes Culis down the center wendy on the table and on the pylons which one i'm for real here comes Culis on the outside Culis was the first to put her nose on the line running down i'm for real and Wendy on the table, and Culis wins the 2001 Princess Final. Number two, Culis returns as Mohawk's second race winner and 2001 champion of the Princess Series. Run the table, three-year-old Bay Philly from You Missed Me. Owned by Clarence Varco of Alliston, Trained by Kevin McMaster, driven to victory by Randy Waples, and she becomes a multiple series winner already this year. Four and eight. 154 and two is a life's mark. For Culis to win the Princess Series final. Stand by for the live post race winner's circle interviews with our Ken Middleton in just a few moments. Princess Series champion is Culis off a good trip tonight. Randy, you were uh, cautious in getting this filly away from the gate. No concern to uh, get her into the flow too early, but when you called on her, she had the right kind of response. Yeah, she raced good. You know, Kevin always brings his horses good, and uh, and she she was she's no exception. You know, she's a real nice mare, and uh, you know he's done a great job with her. You know, uh, again, I can't say enough too about Murray Brother. I'm sure Kevin will point on that too you know Murray gave her early lessons and did a great job with her and taught her how to be a nice horse and you know Kevin's took her and maybe moved her up a step you know taught her a few more things so uh, I'm just glad I got the uh, call on her. Were you satisfied with the speed they were going in the first half? Yeah definitely you know I didn't want them to get too far away from me but it really worked out good when I come here and find out it was only a five horse field so that worked out real good too we knew I knew I was going to stay close and uh, you know it really looked like nine, nine angle and uh, I'm for real could get away from the field if it was a big field and uh, we were able to stay close to him, and it just, just worked out our way. Were you surprised that Saftik didn't quarter pull move with his filly? Yeah, actually, I, I kind of was, because at one point I was even thinking about following Brett around the turn and uh, maybe see if I can coast to the front and let Brett sit in the two-hole. But uh, they were pacing enough there, and my mare felt comfortable, you know. But I, I, I kind of was. I thought Mike would come right back around. But he gave his mare a perfect trip, you know. I mean, she, uh, she just got beat today, that's all, you know. But it certainly wasn't Mike's fault. All right, congratulations on the win. You got a busy night. Get at her. Thanks, Ken. Thank okay, you. Randy Waples scores in the Princess Series with a pacing filly from this man's barn. Kevin, she's a filly who's come a long way in a short period of time. She's got a long summer ahead of her as well, so I guess uh, management is a good part of this filly's success all season long. Yeah, we had we uh, kind of been spotting her, like trying to just race her in these uh, early closes that we're going for a little bit of money because, like you say, it is a long season. I don't want to see her tired at the end of the year when the big money comes. So. You elected to skip the first leg of the series. Was there a reason why? Was there something nagging the filly, or is it just a management decision? No, she was uh, showed a high weight count. Uh, 
her, she had no temperature, but uh, on her blood, uh, her white count was high, so I decided to back off a week with her. I was a little concerned with the way she raced last week. Uh, how about you? Yeah, I thought she was flat. I didn't think she was as good as she was before, so, but uh, she kind of bounced back a bit this week. Yeah. The good ones always do. Uh, hopefully, yeah. So. All right, Keela scores in the Princess Series, and you're probably going to hear more about her name as the Ontario Sire Stakes is gearing up in about 10 days or so, so good luck down the road with her. Thank you, Ken. All right, Kevin McMaster, the training champion with Keelis in the Princess Series, and here's a look at the prices for this year's Princess Pacing Series final.